So the next day comes around and we get a call from the Maricopa Sheriff's Office in, I don't know, somewhere in Arizona, Maricopa County, I guess, saying that the guy that was renting the car was arrested and the car was impounded. Now, that really sucked. Welcome to beautiful Barstow, California, where yes, we are picking up another abandoned car. Now it seems to be, Atwood and I, say hello. What's up guys? It seems to be the shittier cars that we rent, the worst problems we have. Now yes, sorry Tony, this is the worst <laughs> car we have, the Dodge Hellcat, next to the Corvette. All right, we're three in for these American cars. Now we've had the Corvette stolen twice, this car wasn't really stolen. It was rented for a long time, and uh, the guy had it for four days, which I guess that's not a long time. And uh, he left Las Vegas, which he wasn't supposed to. We charged him a $2,000 fine for leaving the city, and he went to California. So he says, okay, cool, let me extend it for another day. I'll pay the fine, no problem. I'll bring it back to Vegas in the morning. So the next day comes around, and we get a call from the Maricopa Sheriff's Office, and. I don't know, somewhere in Arizona, Maricopa County, I guess, saying that the guy that was renting the car was arrested and the car was impounded. Now, that really sucks because that means I gotta go get the car in Arizona. How the hell did I end up in Barstow? Well, that's a funny story because the sheriff's office let him out of jail and gave him the car back. What the fuck? You know, like, why would they do that? Yeah. And he, we called him and he was like, uh, I will bring you the car right now. That was three days ago. And uh, so for the past three days, he's been uh, excuse after an excuse after an excuse. And now we are in basically, I don't know. What do you, what do you, what do you call that stuff when they make on Breaking Bad? Meth labs? We're at Meth Lab Central. This is all meth labs over here. It's disgusting. <laughs> so uh, I've located the car, it's down there. And uh, Sorry, it's, it's bar yeah, any, anybody living in Barstow, just move to Vegas, man. I, I'm not hating on you guys. You know, it's the quality of life you guys are living right here. This is not what you can get. I'm sure this cost very similar to what you could live in parts of Vegas. You don't have to live like this. This is disgusting. So you see that house like right there? There's an abandoned road that, that goes down this way. I'll show it to you guys. You might be able to see it. Let's see. Getting closer. One of these goes through, I think you can see. Yep, right there. See that road? We gotta go down that road because it's sitting in the middle of that road over there. Now, I honestly don't even know the condition. I mean, it was driving yesterday. So what he, what was happening yesterday was the guy literally was going from Hesperia, which is basically Victorville, to Barstow, just back and forth all day long, going like 130, 140 miles an hour. And I was like, how the hell is this guy even getting away with this? Doesn't make any sense. Like, like honestly, I, I just don't understand. He He's going to and from, doing about 140 miles an hour, and then he just leaves a fucking car right down here. Um, I, I would almost put 100% certainty that he was just running drugs to and from the, the two places that uh, he was going to, because no one makes six trips to Barstow in one day, right? I mean, logical people don't at least. So, Abbott, I'm gonna hand you the camera because I gotta back up. Oh yeah, let me roll these windows open. <clears throat> the cops hit it because they wrote on it. So those fucking cops, man. I called the police last night. I called the cops last night to help me out just so they could impound the car. And uh, they obviously came here and wrote a bunch of stuff on it. So, fun. All right, lay up my gloves on. Out when you have the camera. Oh shit. Same spot, man. What? Same spot. The damage. 
Not that bad. Probably can, I think that's more goo. There's not like a big ass fucking bar or something. <clears throat> I don't see any damage. There's only like some goo stuff on the right side. It seems like everybody wants to hit the left and right this car. Tires are not even really messed up. Just a lot of pop prints. Just a lot of bullshit. Alright. <laughs> learned in the past few months from COVID and from uh, the unfortunate series of customers is that it's not going away. It's actually going to continue happening. <laughs> well, I'm okay with it because I enjoy the, making these videos. I actually enjoy, really, really enjoy going and getting these cars back. Hopefully there'll be some more action soon. Okay. But there's damage. There's tons of damage and Andy doesn't like damage. So what we gotta do is make sure is a lot of damage. So if you guys go and you're gonna steal one of my cars, please just crash it all the way so we can get the insurance money on it. Not just the tiny little damage, cause the tiny little damage is hella annoying, right? So if you guys look at the Hellcat, there's like, basically we're gonna have to replace the quarter panel uh, because it's hit, this is the third time it's been hit and uh, the interior is all split up and everything. So it's really just annoying damage that we're dealing with right now. But the trailer parks and the meth labs and all that stuff keeps us going. So royalty repossession and recovery is here to stay. All right, I'm gonna start making new t-shirts coming out soon. Royalty repossession and recovery. So if you guys want, um, because of my misfortune, I actually need money. So please go buy some t-shirts. All right, Mario's gonna give you a coupon code right now. Houston needs money. It's 50% off everything. So please go in there and help me out because all these cars have no insurance. All right, do your best. <laughs> 